Is that sine of theta? Cosine of the supplementary of an angle is equal to what? It's negative cosine theta. Okay, so we can just change this then to uh, cos positive uh, cosine theta. So, R, so we would have to integrate this from what? Uh, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, but we could double it, just go from 0 to pi over 2 and double it. Uh, we could get, let's see here, we are doing a general integral is pretty tough, huh? In, an indefinite in integral. There's going to be no uh, easy way of integrating that. But if we have, uh, in, in, in other words, the, the, the d squared is a constant. We don't have to integrate the d squared. Where the, what's changing here is the theta, you see. So r squared is a constant, and then r d is constant. So the only thing that it, we're really integrating is the cosine theta. Um, let's see here. Yeah, if we had numbers to these, let's say the let's say the radius was um, uh, one meter, and let's say the distance was this distance was uh, uh, five meters. Then we could get some answer. We could put put all of that in here. And the r comes out of the integral. d squared is going to be 25 plus r squared is going to be 1 plus 2 times uh, 1 times uh, 5 times cosine theta. And that's, uh, that's it. You, could just, you can't do anything else but to put it in the ti. So it'll be uh, 1 divided by uh, parentheses 26 plus 10 cosine of x, right, to the power 0. 0.5. And you know what? Go to mode, change it to radian mode. Go to your calculator, go to mode. And then now put uh, parentheses, x parentheses 0, parentheses pi over 2. And you get an answer point. This one, this whole thing comes out to be uh, point two seven seven. And now you could put the 2, you could go 9 times 10 to the 9th, r is equal to uh, 1 meter, right? And then what's the lambda? The lambda is the total charge of the rod divided by the total length of the rod. So if it's 2, uh, two uh, lambda is uh, 2 micro uh, millicoulombs, so 2 times 10 to minus 3, divided by the total length of the rod, well, the, uh, I got to work with the radius that I ga gave you. So we'll do the total length of the rod will be pi r, right? So pi r. And then r is equal to 1 meter. So this is not the same exact rod as we had last time. It's a, the length <coughs> is, <coughs> the length is going to be different. So you see, it was a doable integral. It wasn't that hard. 
because we have the use of the TI that it, it can help us integrate that. But to get a general answer is a little tougher to, for any D. You would have to do an indefinite integral. Okay, so multiply that all out, we get uh, times uh, 2 times uh, 18 divided by pi, 3.17 megavolts. So now I'm 5 meters away from a rod whose circumference is equal to um, pi meters, you see. Okay, and then the, the last one is the ring. Uh, 